So Civil War is a haunting cautionary tale of you know, a near future America where there's a lot of internal conflicts going on. It follows a set of journalists traveling across from New York to DC basically to try and cover what's going on with the war. So for Civil War, the brief was that we were going to make a fully CG Washington DC. And we had to do that both for environments and effects. So we knew that we had to do levels of destruction, but we also had to do large amounts of set extension. And it was combining those two and making tools for that. So overall, we have two separate sections in the movie where we are doing the effects. So in the very beginning, we have the uh, initial uh, opening sequence where there's a terrorist attack uh, bombing. So we have to develop the explosions for that, uh, you know, interact with digi-doubles, the environment and all that sort of thing. The second part is where we need to obviously integrate the final battle in DC area. So that includes a lot of different variety of effects needed to do. Explosions, mortar fire, Humvee getting blown up, uh, tracer fire, destructions, all kinds of things. And obviously one of the biggest one is the Lincoln Memorial, which are being destroyed through like RPGs and tanks and everything like that. We used Houdini on different uh, aspects. One of them was uh, how to build a city as famous as Washington DC in a, in a fast way, but reliable enough to be as close as possible of the, to the rea reality. So this was one of the way. The other way was to be able to add layers of uh, complexity and details uh, with addressings and this kind of things. And of course, to make it easy to be able to pass it to different departments between lighting, uh, animation and, uh, and effects, of course, to destroy it in a comfortable way. And all of this needs to be an endless loop where everything changes and moving all the time. So Houdini has been part of all of it, basically. Overall, over the two sequences, obviously, we use a lot of the bread and butter Houdini solvers, uh, pyro, smoke, for the explosions, for the destructions, rigid body, a little bit of vellum for the tree dynamics and, and all of that. So we are basically utilizing almost the entire suite of the Houdini uh, and side effect solvers. So the advantage of using Houdini was obviously the proceduralism of it, which allowed us to create these tools where we didn't quite know how big we were going to build it, but we knew once we'd set out all these rules, we were able to populate, you know, extend it however much we wanted. Um, we had that confidence in Houdini and uh, the, the ability to expect different types of data to come in and get our building and get our city out the other side. Once we had it all up and running, we even the supervisor was like, can you give us another thousand buildings to the left? Because we had a new shot come in and all we did was just download the OSM, plug it in and it was just uh, working straight away. So I think they were very happy with that.